Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, in today's video, what I'd like to cover is downloading PuTTY onto Windows 10. Uh, okay, so let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the browser. So I'm gonna type in PuTTY, hit enter. And then I'm gonna select download PuTTY. I don't know why there's so many different op, uh, selections here, but okay, so we're gonna pick 64-bit x86. Now I'm running at Windows 10 on an Intel box. So that's uh, x86, so I click on this. Starts to download, it's a small file. Let's go over to File Explorer. Let's go to Downloads. Now, PuTTY, as you see, I have two of them in here, but PuTTY uh, doesn't need to be installed. So I'm just gonna drag it over to the desktop. I'm gonna close the File Explorer. I'm gonna put this over here where I can get to it. Now what PuTTY does is it allows you to attach uh, or access the command line on a server uh, remotely. So what I've done, if you've been following along, what I've done is I have a, a virtual box. Here we go, let me click on it. I have virtual box all set up and running. And there's the virtual box. There's the VM. So I, I on the last video, I did the first install here, the first, uh, uh, a virtual machine. I've activated that, it's running. Uh, and so now I can access it using PuTTY. So I click on PuTTY twice, get it launched. Now, let me explain this right here. Okay, I'm gonna erase this. There's several ways of, of connecting. So I'm gonna connect in the first and uh, the easiest way. My server, which I happen to know, it's on the same machine, but it looks remote because it's being uh, run under uh, a virtual box. So the, the IP address to that, which I, am, I know what it is because I set it up, 192.168.1.80. Okay, and that is um, Ubuntu server running on uh, Oracle virtual box. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. Boom, this is a shell. So I'm gonna type in my username, which is Keith. That's who I am, I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna type in my password. And it takes a half a second or two. And here we go. I am attacked. So this is actually PuTTY opening up a command line with my server. So now I can run commands on the command line and we'll get more into that as we go forward. Okay, so there's several commands that I've already used before. Clear, hit enter, and it clears the console. The shell is also called the console. And so it, now if I wanna exit this, I just type in exit and it will automatically close this. Okay, there we go. So let's go back to PuTTY again. And now I can type in, let me type it in. I'm going to type in Keith at 192.168.1.80, which is my server. So that's my username at the IP address. Now, if, if you're uh, running a, a web server and you have a domain, you could type the domain in there. Uh, but we're gonna use the IP address. So if I hit enter, now it has my username. And all I have to do is type in my password, wait a second or two, and wham. Okay, let's clear. Okay, exit. Okay, I'm gonna show you two more things. Okay, I'm gonna start put, putty again. So I'm gonna type in Keith at 192.168.1.80. Okay, now I can save that. Well, it's, it already is saved. Let's delete that and let's save it. Okay, so I click this here. I'm just gonna uh, 
highlight it and save it. Control C for copy. And then I'm going to go Control V. And it's going to put it in there. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to say save. Okay. So I'm going to close this. Let's open up Putty again. Okay. So I can go to this and double click on it. And bam, there we go. See, it's got my username already set up there. I just type in my password. It takes a second or two. It's working. We're going to clear the screen and we're going to exit and you don't have to clear the screen you can just exit okay so one more thing i'm going to open up putty and here's something i want to do see this says default settings load that it's probably already loaded but let's make sure go over to windows appearance now you'll notice that the font size has been kind of large and that's because i have it set at 14 because uh, I like to have big font because sometimes there's a lot of stuff written in these files you're going to open up. And so uh, it was set from the factory at 10 points. That's too small for me. So I set it at 14. And then all I have to do is say, OK, bam. Remember, that was right here, Windows, Appearance. And uh, we can change the, the font, whether it's italicized and so on and the size okay so i have that let's 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 go back and and um okay let's go back here and we'll this is the wrong ip address let's put in 80 um well we can click right here bam double click on it and put in my password here we go okay so I'm not going to open any files or do anything else but you can see that there's a, a all of this stuff is uh actually easy to see. Uh, I will type in one command. Um, let me see if I can get this bigger. There we go. Let's clear this because it's just in the way. And then I'm going to type in top. Keep in mind you want to know about top. Enter. Okay, this is going to show me everything that's running, how many resources it's using. It's got a lot of data up there. I'm not going to get into it. I just wanted to demonstrate how to use putty. So I'm going to use, I'm going to hit the Q button uh, to quit. And then I'm going to hit clear to clear this out. You don't have to. And then I'm going to use exit to leave. Bam, gone. Okay, that's everything we need to do with Putty. You download it, you put it on your desktop, and then you can uh, customize it. The font size, you can do other things as well. And you can store your access, like, Keith at IP address, and so it's already there. And then all you have to do is double click on it, and we'll lock you. It will start the login process. So we've learned a little bit about Putty today. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment and subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link and you'll wanna subscribe because there's some information I'm gonna let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.